To predict the products of the reaction between hydrochloric acid and potassium hydroxide, we need to first recognize what type of chemical reaction we have. In this case, we have an acid and a base mixing together, so it's going to be a neutralization reaction. And in neutralization reactions, we end up with a salt plus water. So that gives us a general idea of what we should end up with. We know we'll have this water, this H2O. This is also a double displacement reaction. So let's write the charges above each of these compounds here so we can figure out what replaces what. On the periodic table, hydrogen, that's in group 1. It has a positive charge. The chloride ion, group 17, sometimes called 7A, that has a minus 1 charge. Potassium, that's in group 1 with hydrogen, plus 1. And then the hydroxide group, you need to recognize this, that this is a polyatomic ion. And you should memorize that the hydroxide group has a negative 1 charge. So we have these charges. The positives in a double displacement reaction, the hydrogen and the potassium, they'll switch places. When they do, we'll end up with the H and the OH. We'll put that over here, HOH, because that's just H2O, water. So let's write H2O. And then the K, the potassium, the positive, will go with the negative, the chloride. That'll give us KCl. We always write the positive ion first, plus water. So that's the reaction. We have HCl plus KOH, and that gives us KCl plus water. It's both a neutralization reaction and a double displacement reaction. This is Dr. B, predicting the products of the reaction between HCl and KOH. Thanks for watching.